few months ago we built this house we decided that we needed to get a water filter because we were getting stains in the toilets and in the sink and in the washing machine and our clothes so we figured that we needed a water filtration system for the whole house we went online and did some research and found that the ice spring filter system seemed to be the best fit for us once we installed it we started seeing the reduction in stains and problems with our water and the taste and the smell. Um, these are things that we were worried about before because we had, uh, we had iron and manganese in the water and uh, we had sediment from the well that we needed to get rid of. But now that the system is in, the water is super clean, it tastes fresh, it doesn't have any weird odors and we're not having problems with washing our clothes and things of that nature. My parents' house is in the same situation as ours, so I came to install the exact water filter in their house today, and I hope it can solve their water problems too. So over here, I've already got started by cutting through this PEX pipe and installing this T and bringing it out to a shutoff valve. Uh, so I have a shutoff valve here and here, and the water's coming from underneath. And then I'm gonna install uh, this pipe to extend over and then we're gonna install the uh, spin down filter right here, and then uh, the main filter system, and then the UV filter will be over there. So let me show you how uh, some of these things to go together. So inside these filter containers are the filters, and they are still sealed with plastic, so we have to open these. So the first filter in the line is a sediment filter. It picks up the uh, particles and sand, rust, and scale. Uh, the second filter in the series is uh, for picking up uh, chlorine and things like that, the taste, the things that make the water taste funny. And the last one is for the heavy metals of iron and manganese. And we just need to install those on the bracket, which I already have installed on the wall. And it's just as simple as taking the piece and screwing it straight in and making sure that it gets tight. There's a wrench for it. The filters go in very easily and smoothly. It doesn't take a lot of effort to turn the, the filter with a wrench, but everything here is cast iron. It's, it's very heavy duty. The easiest thing I found to do is just to push this up and put my finger in the center for the bottom and just spin it on my finger to get it to go straight in. Just give it about a quarter of a turn. And that's it, it's that simple. The next thing we need to do is, is prep all our fittings. Uh, since I have three quarter inch line and this has a one inch in, uh, in inlet, we have to reduce down to three quarters. So we have to use Teflon tape on everything. Always lay it on there in the direction that it tightens. And I usually do about three times around. The reason I do it in the direction it tightens is if you do it in the other direction, when you tighten, it will actually just spin back out of the threads. So this keeps it, as you're tightening the thread, the fitting in, it stays on the threads. When we do change these filters out, uh, before we unscrew this, there's a pressure relief button here and here and here, and that will release the pressure that's inside of this closed loop system. There's just a small closed loop here that has pressure still on it, and we just release it with those buttons and then this, this just comes off. So I have pecs that we're using on this job because the uh, plumbing that comes into the house is pecs and we're sticking with that. And we have an adapter from the one inch down to three quarter of an inch. So with the pecs, you can use one ring or two rings when you do the crimp on these. I, I like to use two because it just, it gives you twice as much surface area. So it's a lot less likely to leak. And we push them in like this and then crimp it. 
So this is a spin down filter and it, uh, it's used to maintain uh, the water that's coming into the system to help reduce the, uh, the wear and tear on the system. It, it extends the life of the system by catching a lot of particles in these, the mesh and to clean it out about once a month well, it depends on, you can look in here and see when it's dirty. You just, you can put a bucket under here or you can attach a hose to this. You just open the valve and it spins uh, down the water and it pushes all that back out and comes out here and then you just close it and it extends the life of the entire system. Uh, and it saves you money in the long run and the short run. On the fittings for this, there is a three quarter inch female or a one inch male that you can attach to. So for our system, we have a three quarter inch male adapter and that's what we're gonna use. And we just need to put Teflon tape on both sides of this and install it. There's two rings to each side and then we'll crimp that. And I like to do, do it twice. The good thing about the PEX is uh, in a situation where it could freeze, this will expand to about that big and it won't bust. It will just, the, the ice will melt and it'll shrink back down and it'll be fine. This is a push on fitting and it's different than the crimp fittings. Um, what I like to do is pull this little plastic piece in there out far enough so I can see it and it needs to go inside of the pipe. Otherwise, it will hinder you from pushing it all the way in. So it needs to go inside the pipe. And then I always try to look at these numbers or make a line on the pipe because I, need, I know that it needs to go in at least a half an inch, five eighths. And if I look at these letters, I can tell when it's in. Yeah, so it went in about three quarters of an inch. So this is the UV water sterilizer. It has a UV light that goes inside of it. So it's, it's very strong light um, and it will, it'll, it'll keep your family safe from any bacteria. So on these fittings here, it's the same as the uh, other fittings, a one inch male fitting. So we need a one inch female that next down to a three quarter inch female so that we can attach uh, into our three quarter inch system. So the first thing that we need to do is get the threaded tape on here. So with the UV filter, I'm gonna mount it up high. So I'm gonna have to put the light in from the bottom side and I've gotta turn this out so that I can get all my fittings on. But rather than putting all my fittings on up there, I'm gonna do it down here on the floor to make it a lot simpler. I know what I need to do because I've already figured it out and uh, I won't be standing on a ladder working at the very top. I can just do it down here. I need the elbows on both sides of these. One pointing in each direction in from the filter and then over here we go out to the house. So I have everything that I can do down here on the ground ready. So I'm going to install this up on the wall. I've already screwed the brackets to the wall. Um, with concrete screws and hopefully you're not working on concrete you'll be on wood it'll be a lot easier but to put this in it's very simple you just snap it in and these close I just I'm trying to line this up here and then snap it closed and then that's it and I'll snap that one closed when I get up there and then for this piece of pipe the good thing about PEX, it's not exact measurements. I can look and see where I'm at. Just hold my finger there and I can make my cut right there. The good thing about this PEX pipe is it flexes and it's easy to use. So 
Some other types of pipe like copper are not so friendly. So here I am at the top, and all I have to do is get this locked in now. That easy. I just need to make sure my pipe's lined up, and I need to put my valve in here and the T, and I'll be finished. So this is the UV light that goes inside the tube. And on this UV light, we have two connectors. One of the connectors slides on the end, just like that. And carefully. And on the other side, nice and carefully, just slide that up in there. Push that and it just clicks right in. And we slide this cap up over the end of it. And then all we have to do is plug this in.